Kill them. Why? They have nothing to do with this. Kill them. Please. No more. We need more souls. Get started Shh. now. Fire. Showtime. Get it done. Well, well, well. Welcome to 31 Nights of Fights. Please join us with an open mind. This is so exciting. Now let's go over a few rules. Rule number one. Watch this at night. Rule number two. Turn off the lights. And rule number three. Do not fall asleep thinking about the searches. Sabrina Bell always loved the dream realm, a place where worlds do not exist. <laughs> You can just laugh and well die, 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 die. Spookiest, most magical month. Do you, you feel, feel that, that amazing, amazing October vibe? The magic, spooky atmosphere. <sighs> no? I know. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna try to fix this. Are you ready? Look what I got. Okay. If I tell you that sometimes all we need is a little magic, magic. would you believe me? Regardless, you are now watching 31 Nights of Fright. Close your eyes and feel the magic. Okay, this stuff is really good. Hi again, hi again, what up again? Welcome to the first episode of 31 Nights of Fright, season two. And welcome to my circus. How's your day going? You're not going, I hope everything is awesome. October is finally here. Ooh, I wanna hear all about your plans for this spooky month. I hope you stick around to the end of the month. 
I'm forever if you will because I'm gonna be making videos until the day that I die. Spooky videos. So if you're new here, hello. My name is Sabrina. I upload videos every week, scary videos, and this month I'm gonna be uploading every single day to celebrate the best month ever. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and join the Spooky Bell fam. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with a friend who likes spooky things. And now if you want to know how to summon Jack or oh. Lantern, just go ahead, turn off your lights, and stick around. are you hiding from with all these costumes on all the makeup the creepy masks what do you fear what are you hiding from or should i say who mm -hmm. are you mm -hmm. hiding from jack o'lantern he's still roaming the realm between the living and the dead and on this one night when the veil that separates both worlds is the thinnest that's when he finds his way to earth He's looking for souls to light up his way for another year. So anyways, without further ado, here is how you can summon Jack O'Lantern. Do it at your own risk and make your Halloween night one you will never forget. Are you ready? You need to play this game, this ritual, I'm gonna call it a ritual, all by yourself. Make sure there's no one else in the house. This is really important. If you have pets, keep them in a room protected by salt. What you're gonna do is say a little prayer, put your pet in a room, and put salt behind the door to keep evil spirits from entering and disturbing them. They ain't got nothing to do with this, okay? Protect them at all costs. If you're choosing to summon Jack, then that's completely on you. And a little bit me, cause I'm teaching you how. Moving on, you also need three pumpkins with his face on them. Now, you don't need to carve them, okay? And the pumpkins, they don't gotta be real either. But they must have a face on them, his face on them, and some sort of light inside. Because this is also very important. Whatever light is inside the pumpkins, that shit must be on. You also need a black candle, salt, a piece of paper, and a pen, as well as a mirror. I know it's a lot of stuff. But hear me out. Place one pumpkin in front of you and two kind of behind you. One here and the other one here. Make sure there's one on the right and one on the left and one in front of you. Making a triangle. You must form this triangle and be in the middle of it. The mirror must be in front of you as well. Make sure that the pumpkin is facing the mirror and that you can see it. You must make a circle of salt around the triangle because that's what's going to protect you. However, you must make sure that the mirror is not inside the circle or else the ritual will not be successful. Now get your piece of paper and write the following. Spirits that roam the earth freely tonight bring jack o'lantern the most damned soul of all into my home show him the way to me so we're gonna write that in that piece of paper then you're gonna light up the candle and read that three times then you're gonna close your eyes and chant jack follow my voice you must be whispering because wherever he is he can only hear whispers whenever people try and summon him. So you're gonna keep saying, Jack, follow my voice over and over, whispering, remember that. So when you feel the temperature in the room change, trust me, you will feel it. You then open your eyes and focus on the mirror. Keep looking at it, focus on it real good. As you say, Jack, follow my voice over and over so they say you will see the reflection of the pumpkin slowly turn into a creepy man it's him the one and only jack o'lantern do not look at him directly in the eyes his eyes are sunken into his skull and he'll be holding a lantern do not leave the circle whatever you do 
do not leave the circle. If you do, he will take your soul and go on a killing spree. He is desperate for souls. And if he takes yours, we're all doomed. Because you'd be officially giving him permission to enter our world. So be very, very careful. So yeah, stay in the circle and he's supposed to raise his hand and show you his story through the mirror. How freaking cool is that? And the story will end with him going to hell and getting kicked out, which is how he ended up in this mess he is in today, in eternal darkness. So as soon as you see him getting kicked out of hell, you must end the ritual. So here's the way to end the ritual. Get a piece of paper and burn it. And as it's burning it, as you're holding it and it's burning, you quickly must say, Jack, go away. Jack, disappear. Jack, you have no place being here. Say that three times as the paper is burning. Then blow out the candle, the candles in all three pumpkins. And if you use just like little lights or fake candles, just turn them all off immediately. During the ritual, you might hear faint whispers, screams, cries, and even laughter, which is so, so, so creepy. But those are from all the souls he carries around with him. You must ignore it and show no fear or else you're screwed. When he's near, the temperature will drastically change. Some say it'll drop drastically. Some say it'll just get so hot that you're gonna feel like you're in hell. And you feel this strong, horrible feeling. So uneasy, you just know something isn't right. That just means he's near. So it is advised that you either break that mirror or cover it up and do not let anybody use it ever again. Also get rid of all the candles. I don't care if they were fake or not, get rid of them, throw it away. Just get it out of your house. Again, all of them. You must get rid of them immediately, but only get rid of the pumpkins in the morning. You have to, do not keep them. Do not keep anything you use for the ritual. Not even the pen, nothing. So what do you guys think? Would you ever try this ritual? And by the way, do you know the story of Jack O'Lantern? Because if not, I have a video all about that. That was actually the first video ever of the series. I'm really excited for this season. I've been trying to put everything that's been on my mind into the episodes. But of course, it's not 100% doable because it's only me doing all this. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. I might keep this theme for the rest of the series. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And by the rest of the series, I mean until the day I die. I'm going to do my best to keep this up. Ah, so excited. I'm just imagining this is you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And join the Spooky Bell fam. Join my circus this month. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with a friend who likes spooky things. And I'll see you children tomorrow. Doodles. <laughs>